Double D Water Pump Sales and Service is going to do an installation of a Robison Solar Deep Well High Flow Solar Powered Water Pumping System. We're south of Weatherford, Oklahoma, about 10 miles, and we're going to put this system in. Very crucial on an installation to know the depth of your water. You must know the depth of the water in your well, and then you need to determine how much water is in your well. So we'll know for a proper pump setting, as it's as crucial, these pumps cannot run dry. On this particular installation, the rancher has already set the pole that we're going to mount the panels on. You'll need a piece of 2 and 3 eighths steel tubing to mount your panels. We're going to install a ground rod, which is crucial for your solar system to uh, help direct light, small lightning strikes away from the panels or your electronic components. It's imperative when you're putting in a ground rod that you get as deep into the soil as possible, hopefully making contact with moisture below the ground level. A clamp and some copper wire will be attached to that. We started with an eight foot copper rod. Now unboxing the pump. On this particular application, we've already placed the wire, made the underwater splice and placed the wire on the pump in the shop. Uh, we will be making another video to instruct you on in how to make a proper underwater splice. But for this installation, that's already been taken care of. Some of these pumps come with a inch and a quarter down to one inch reducer in place. We just screwed the reducer in and we're going to tighten it up. Depending on which style of pump we use, whether it's helical rotor or centrifugal, some of these pumps will come with a two inch discharge and you'll need to reduce down to whatever size pipe you're going to use. We have our roll of one inch black roll poly pipe. We're going to install our one inch male hose barb adapter, galvanized, so that we can attach our one inch black roll poly pipe directly to the pump. It's important to know your casing size on this installation today. We've, we're going into a 5 inch PVC well casing. You must know the inside diameter of your casing for pump selection. Most any of our pumps will go in a 5 inch or larger PVC casing or well casing. We do have a few select pumps that will go in a 4 inch casing. Unrolling the one inch black roll poly pipe. I've already attached it to the pump via the male hose barb adapter and use some stainless steel clamps to uh, tighten it to it. Now we're going to roll out the wire. It's easier to roll this out in advance so you can go ahead and tape your wire to your pipe periodically every five to eight feet or so. For protection it's best to attach a safety rope of some type. We're going to use a quarter inch nylon similar to a ski rope and attach it and we'll tape it with our wire to our pipe ever so often. Might take a moment to mention what comes included in a Robison deep well high flow solar powered water pumping system. We provide the pump, the solar panels that you'll need, the aluminum mounting hardware for the modules. You will need to provide the rope, the pipe, various plumbing fittings, uh, your well cap, and your pole to mount your panel on.
there's a low water sensor in the wire a couple of feet above the pump and if water should fall below that it should tell your pump motor to shut off so your pump does not run dry causing damage yeah. what we have here is what's classified as a sanitary well seal uh, it slides down in the top of your well casing these four bolts tighten and expand this piece of rubber to give you a good seal against the elements and insects your pipe and your wire there's a couple of holes here you can see to bring your one inch pipe out and your wire out okay we've cut a section of one inch PVC that we're going to run through the seal and we'll put the necessary fittings on that to uh, attach it to the one inch black roll poly pipe primer and glue and attaching one inch collar. Collar. collar on the bottom here for the downhole side. And it will be a female thread that will receive the one inch male hose barb adapter. Okay, we've attached the one inch black roll poly pipe. Let's slide our clamps up, tighten them down. Running our wire through the top of our well seal. tape up the additional wire and uh, tape it to the pipe and it will just sit in the casing attached to the pipe that way if you ever need to lower your pump or make any changes you've got some excess wire to work with without having to make a splice measure off some excess rope and cut it to where we'll have something to tie around the casing at the top bring your rope through your well seal in the same hole that you bring your wire through. Okay, we've got everything attached. We've got our pipe, our wire, our safety rope. We've got our seal on top. We knew the estimated distance that we needed to be to attach the appropriate amount of pump cable and pipe. And now it's time to go in the hole. Oftentimes you can hear when the pump hits water. We just made contact with the water, I believe, or did we? Yeah. Yes, we just made contact with the water. Get everything aligned. Slide the sanitary well seal in. It's imperative that if you'll be using these systems in uh, freezing weather applications that you install a weep hole in the drop pipe approximately three to five feet below the ground level or somewhere into below frost level wherever you're at in your location. Now we're going to tighten down the well seal since we put our weep hole in and we believe we're complete with our below ground installation.